Hi again everyone. Now that we've completed our trace sketch effect in GIMP, we'd like to do the same sort of effect in Inkscape. As you can see here, I have the Empire State Building in trace format, and I want to show you how I got that. So our first step in Inkscape is to import our image. I have that image of the Empire State Building on my desktop. And we want to we want to embed the image. And there's that original image. So creating the sketch effect in Inkscape is really simple. The first thing we need to do is select the image, the photograph image, in this case a JPEG and go to path and trace bitmap. Now you can see that we want edge detection selected and the lower I take my threshold the darker my trace is going to get and the higher I take my threshold, the lighter my trace is going to get. So I found that 0.4 looks nice with this photograph. And we'll say OK. And close the trace dialog. Inkscape is going to put the trace right on top of the original image. So we are going to choose our selection tool and simply drag the trace right off of the photograph. Now the other thing that Inkscape can do is make a trace that actually looks like the photograph and the trace will be fully scalable in vector graphic format. So we can select the image, go back to path, trace the bitmap once more and this time choose multiple scans it's going to create groups of paths and we want to choose colors and the more scans we put in we'll just put in three to start and you can see that it gives you this silhouette effect if we put in 20 going to look a lot more like the regular photograph. You might also try to play around with these settings. Right now Gaussian blur is being applied to smooth out the image. We can take that off and our image will get a little bit more of our uh, edges. We'll say OK and close the trace. And you can see once again it put the photograph trace right on top of the original image. So we can simply pull it over. And now we have a vector graphic photograph that's fully scalable and uh, up and down we can make it larger and smaller without losing any quality. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and till next time.